Hello everyone, Chris Erickley here for the Press Enterprise. We're taking a look at day two of the Earl Ellis Green case. Of course, Earl Ellis Green on trial for the murder of Riverside Police Officer Ryan Bonamino. I'm joined now by Press Enterprise's Rich Diatley. Rich, you're in court today. Another busy day in court. The main highlight was audio or potential uh, lack of audio due to a technical malfunction involving audio that could have been recorded during the confrontation between Green and Bonamino. Right. Today, uh, technicians came into court and uh, discussed the uh, audio, possible audio recordings that might have existed, uh, but uh, there was an equipment failure in one, uh, one instance and a uh, device turned off on the other. Uh, there were, uh, right at the beginning of the chase between uh, Officer Bonamino and Earl Ellis Green, he can be heard uh, uh, telling Green as he emerges from a semi-truck on the edge of Fairmont Park, uh, stay in the car, and he says car, and then stop. And then there's no more audio as the two, uh, as the chase goes on into the park and up to the church parking lot where it ended fatally for Officer Bonamino. Uh, a technician uh, today said that it appeared that the microphone uh, transmitter that Officer Bonnie Minio uh, was using may have failed. He did not directly investigate Bon Minio's uh, transmitter, but said there was a first generation problem with these microphones. The antenna could occasionally be broken by officers' equipment, such as a uh, protective vest. And then the uh, effectiveness of that microphone, 100 to 150 feet uh, unobstructed, uh, was reduced to about 10 feet. Uh, the technician said that it appeared that that's what was the case with Bonamino's microphone when uh, the, the uh, audio dissolves very quickly after that initial uh, two spoken commands from the officer, which are right in front of his patrol car as he begins the chase with Green. And with that audio out of the equation, it really comes down to yesterday's witness testimony. Well, there's one more audio item that uh, failed. Uh, or uh, didn't work or wasn't used actually, and that was a belt recorder that officers have. People often see officers with a little square here uh, microphone. That's a on-off uh, uh, microphone for a digital recorder that's on their equipment belt. Uh, in this case, uh, it was examined after this incident uh, in the park and found that it was powered off. It was never on. And uh, Rich, what can we expect to see in court tomorrow morning? They have started actually this uh, uh, Tuesday afternoon with forensic testimony, and that we expected to continue at least in the morning uh, hours of uh, testimony tomorrow. All right, Rich, thanks for joining us. That does it for this edition of the Day 2 Update from the Ryan Bonamino Earl Ellis Green case. Be sure to keep right here on PE.com for future updates.